Welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending February 18th, 2024. The Funimation <laughs> app is going away for good. The Boy and the Heron and Gundam Seed Freedom continue making news. And uh, High Dive users might have a lawsuit payout in their future, plus lots and lots of new anime Ooh. announcements. Let's see here. Yeah, so here are the headlines. Everything we're going to be covering more on the Class Action Suit Funimation app after the data but for now let's get to the headlines the headlines the boy and the heron continues to win awards it won two awards at the annie awards uh 51st annual annie awards hayao miyazaki won an award for best storyboarding oh fine uh, and animation director takeshi honda won an award for best character animation for a feature film uh, Hondo was at the event and accepted both awards. That's Oof. pretty cool. Um, Spider-Man, of course, the Spider-Verse won best, won best feature there, in case folks are curious. Um, and then they also, uh, however, Boy and the Heron won Best Animated Film Award at the BAFTAs, which is pretty cool. It beat Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, Elemental, yep. and Chicken Run in that category. That was back on February, uh, uh, on, uh, that was today actually yeah yeah uh, I, I i'm i'm actually quite happy to, to see that a title called the boy and the heron beat something out else out called chicken run dawn of the nugget yeah. so you know it just <laughs> just sounds right mm -hmm. yeah exactly like thank you um also the first anime film to win best animated film at, ba at the baftas which is oh really cool. I didn't yeah. know that. okay um so that is pretty awesome um Always. yeah yeah good for boy and the heron we all right yep there we go so we have here uh, yet another manga getting a uh tv animation um so it's the dark history of the real oh, uh, oh. uh gundam seed freedom gundam seed freedom oh i don't have that one okay i will i will do that real quick then do it again, um, so you, okay go for it so sorry uh, sorry no problem jump the gun uh, technical difficulties it happens. <laughs> um, so Gundam Seed Freedom um, has sold 1.63 million tickets for about 17.94 million U.S. dollars. It is now the highest earning film in the Gundam franchise at the Japanese box office, uh, overtaking the original oh, movie Gundam 3 um, uh, encounters in space back in the 80s. Uh, so, yes, it has done very, very well. Um, we mentioned this in the past. It kind of kept on... Uh, Box office, box office records, but Gundam 3, like, did shockingly well at the time. Like, yeah. it, everyone yeah. made a big deal out of it. It's, it's arguably why we got the Zeta Gundam and the other Gundams afterwards, is because that movie did so extremely well. So, uh, yeah, Gundam Seed Freedom, good job. Yay! Yay. All right. So, technical difficulties aside, let's try this again. The Dark History of Reincarnated Villainous is manga gets a TV anime. So yet another manga gets a TV anime. And this one is about a young lady who has written a story about herself being the evil princess. And she's very embarrassed by her story, apparently, because when her mother is about to find out, she runs out into traffic, I guess, and gets isekai. <laughs> okay. So, you know, there sure. you go. Um, different take on a, on a, on a, on a little subgenre. I mean, we've been seeing a lot more of these like reincarnated villainous um, kind of things, but this one is kind of a little different in that it, she's reincarnated into her own fantasy world. I okay. guess. So, so there you go. Huh. Cool. Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. um, certainly not the only uh, TV anime adaptation this week. No, you got a whole ton. The science manga survival guides are getting a tv anime which is kind of interesting you probably see these yeah. in the in bookstores and libraries they're the you know manga guide to x sort of that genre um this is an all color manga and study book uh actually started in south korea um and it's about you know children who get into various adventures that have a you know some kind of science or history kind of connection etc uh, i guess science uh connection and um yeah there's going to be a tv anime adaptation which is kind of interesting um, it will be, um, um, there actually was, uh, a toy animation produced a, a very short animated video for them back in 2019. Um, and it was listed as a pilot movie at the time. So presumably that's going on. Um, and there was actually an anime film adaptation of the manga, um, back oh, in 2020 and 2021. 
So, uh, yeah, more science survival, science stuff. Sciencey. Sciencey. Go, go sciencey. Go science. Well, see, anime can be useful, folks. Exactly, yes. It can be useful. All right. Uh, let's see here. We have from the creator of Rent a Girlfriend. Remember that one from a while ago? Reiji Miyajima, I think his name is. Yeah. Um, we got a new one called this from him called the Shinuji Family Children Manga Gets a TV Anime. Okay, so they get an anime. And I just love the description. I'm just going to read the first two sentences and, and that's going to tell it all. Uh, the love between brother and sister, the love between man and woman. I'm sure this, this is a, 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 a wonderful, um, uplifting family show. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. all about family. So, it's all about family. So basically, yeah, it's all, the, oh God. Um, so it, it, quite apparently, you know, this is like, hi, welcome to the family, uh, family um, harem, I guess. Mm. And, 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 but there's a deep, dark secret that the father has and tells the one son and uh, everything tilts on its axis mm. you know, to, to quote the, the, the descriptor, which leads me to believe that nobody's actually related to each other. Yeah. Cause that's mm -hmm. usually how this works. So there you go. So uh, everything's okay. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. let's see here. I am. No, not really. <laughs> I am scrolling back down to, I'm, I'm sorry. So somebody made a very good joke, which I am not going to uh, come <laughs> here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I, I completely agree. I'm betting like they're all adopted. Right. Yeah. Right. Along yeah. Those lines. Um, but anyway, that kind of sounds, uh, sounds fun. Um, also getting a TV anime of, for some reason, I started living with a neat, uh, which actually has a bit more of an interesting premise. Um, main character is a salaryman who's attacked by demons and is then saved by a Kunoichi, um, who in her time off is a lazy otaku neat. And f through various circumstances, they start living together. So it's guy lives with otaku girl who lazes around in her stockings and you know um uh hilarity ensues and, and not being annoyingly cute exactly. i guess yes that yes very much the idea um All right. so um 10 volumes of the manga out already so certainly wow. plenty there to to work with okay so here's a new anime coming up that is doesn't have to deal with familial love in different ways or being with a neat girlfriend who protects you. Mm -hmm. um, so this is an actual webtoon. Something from the web is actually getting an anime. Okay. Um, it's, um, what's his name? Taejun Pak. Um, it's called Viral Hit. Okay. And it's about a, a guy, a kid, a, a, a you know 98 pound weakling, weakling who does, uh, I guess, Fight Club on YouTube. YouTube Fight Club, I guess. Okay. <laughs> And but he's learning how to fight through a anonymous unknown person who's trying to help him, and he starts winning. Uh -huh. So uh, you know, so how does this end? Will this end with him actually, you know, being able to fight on his own, or you know, what's what's going on? What's what's the inner context here? And let me guess, the shadowy mentor figure is actually his little sister. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Entirely possible. I mean, this is anime. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Who, yeah. Who knows? So uh, yeah, it's it's actually been a while since we've had a uh, anime like this. I'm, I'm reminded of a lot of the what, what's the term for the anime where everyone's the the, the ah, um, battle royale. Battle you know, yes, right. battle royale. We, we yeah. get one, yeah, one yeah. of those about once a year, and this is obviously not exactly the same thing, but in that sort of wheelhouse. So hopefully they come up with something kind of interesting there. Yeah. Um, I was getting a TV anime for Wistoria Wand and Sword. Uh, Will Surfort decides to enter Regarden Magic Academy uh, to make it to the top of the magical world. He just doesn't know how to use magic. Um, but he wants to fulfill the promise he made to a childhood friend. But will his seemingly ordinary sword be the key to unlock his true potential? Now, here's why this got picked up into it to be an anime. Um, same author as Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Basically, that, yeah. that person doing a fantasy anime. Now, also interesting again, not a sky. It is just a fantasy anime. So this might be part of that larger trend we're seeing of moving more towards just fantasy anime straight up. 
we will see how that goes. But uh, another one of well, another one of those coming. And speaking of another one of those coming up, um, golf, because we've never had an anime about golf. <laughs> um, so <laughs> this one is uh, an original golf themed anime gets gets TV series. Uh, what what is it? Sorayo Utility, I guess is is the is the name of this. Uh, we've got a lot of character designs of girls in golf outfits. That's nice. Um, basically, it's your traditional. I don't know what to do with my life. I have nothing. I don't do anything. I'm just going to go coast through life. Oh, what is this? A golf club? Magic. I I love golf now. So that's basically what this is. So I um, know John and I watched the like pilot for this when it came out, and oh yeah? it's laid back golf. Ah, it, it, it is just it, that's that's all it is. It, okay, it, it's basically you know um, golf and friendship. Yeah, chill high school girls playing golf right together um, all right so, so we're not gonna have to worry about nationals are we i i doubt it um ah, I, I think good. this would be good, 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 good. and apparently the the creative staff said yes like we want to make something that's not you know shonen sports centric that's more about just folks enjoying the game so oh so, good because here i thought it was going to be another you know like golf anime <laughs> or it's going to be like a you know the one where the girl just plays golf for the mafia yeah. or something <laughs> right or, you know Nice, laid back golf. Exactly. Friendship, yes. exactly. friendship, golf clubs, and tees. Exactly. Yeah, um, I'm. I'd be up for that. Um, the uh, look back one shot manga is getting an anime film. Um, not often we get a, a anime film out of one shot, except that that is a one shot by Tatsuki Fujimoto, creator of Chainsaw Man. Ooh, I love Chainsaw Man. So yeah, but this is so not Chainsaw. Yeah, Man. Yeah, no. Uh, so. Basically, um, it is about a um, um, uh, uh, two girls who love drawing manga, hmm. and a uh, poignant story of kind of them growing up and moving forward. I know the manga is available in English, like digitally. You can buy it on Kindle and such. Um, so that is a thing. Uh, it actually won the Rakuten Kobo Ebook Awards in May 2023. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a, a thing. It uh, actually nominated for an Eisner Award. Dang! Oh so, wow! Um, I remember uh, reading the like the, the the preview for it and was very impressed. So yes, that is a that is a thing that's going to happen. Nice. Um, probably not as many chainsaws in this one though. No, probably not as much gore either. So it's it. This could not be further from chainsaw. Man for those, <laughs> I mean, it's just like I read this, pre-read this, and I was just like going. I do want to. I do want to read this. I do want to watch this, but it's because I really do enjoy Chainsaw Man, but it is so not. Okay, so no one's going to turn into a chainsaw and have a demon that looks like a puppy inside them and you know all that kind of stuff. So you know, just nice and nice and neat. Yeah, nice, um, nice yeah, uh, yeah. Set expectations, everyone. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Uh, uh, speaking of expectations, <laughs> Shibuya City Tourism. So we're going to get another anime about a place, and um, and this is kind of a fun one, actually. I, I think. Yeah. Uh, they're they're focusing it on uh, Hachi, a, a the hundredth anniversary of the birth of a uh, dog in Shibuya by the name of Hachiko, and this is going to be kind of an anime about that, about Hachi, I think, in or or, or something of that nature. Yep. D focusing on the Shibuya, Shibuya city, I'm going to tell you this right now. Anna's going to love this one, mm -hmm. and uh, so I know I'll be watching this. Uh, for all of you who love dogs. Are you a fan of Ayn from Cowboy Bebop? You're probably going to watch this. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, for those not familiar, um, Hachi was a dog who would uh, follow his master to Shibuya Crossing every day to kind of see him off on his train. Um, and then one day his, uh, his master didn't make it back, shall we say. Um, and the dog kept coming to the train station every day thereafter anyway. Exactly. And uh, so there is a bronze statue of Hachi at Shibuya Crossing that a lot of people will say, oh, let's, let's meet at the Hachiko sta uh, statue, you know, and that it's a very yeah. much of a, a meeting place. So, in fact, the um, there was another anniversary of that recently, and they added a statue of Hachi and the man. Oh, it was very sweet. So, yeah. Yes. Um, so very much celebrating that, you know, dogs, companions and such. Yes. Yeah, I'm curious if they're going to tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> like, is this going to be a, 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 a 
Happy or sad? Come see our monument about death. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, please. We'll put out, did anybody adopt Hachi? Yeah. So we are going to talk about uh, the class action suit regarding High Dive and other streaming services and fun the Funimation app shutting down in the full version of this after the data. But now let's look at the data. There we go. We'll just look at the data here real quick as we flip through the news items for the data for this week. If you want the second part of Spy Family Season 1, that's available. Ooh. Tears to Tiara, Handyman Saito. Adventure. Detective Conan movie, doing well as usual. Shocker, 